Hello, welcome to Yarn Lane. Uh, we are the only shopping channel in the UK dedicated completely to everything yarn, whether it be crochet, knitting, animals, finger, thing, any, all of it. We do all of it. We do all of it. We do have a website, which I'd like to show you quite now, called www.yarnlane.com. There it is. Now, if you, uh, the, the whole website's there, so there's a shop there, everything is there that you can go to, like, like there is on the Sewing Street one. But also, if you want to see what's on, t uh, there you go, Yarn Lane, and uh, not on Lane, Yarn, Kits, Needles, everything that you want is on there. Then if you also click on the Watch Live button, it's very, very similar, identical, to the Sewing Street one. You can send us a message to the studio if you want to in the little box there. Or, of course, now, now on pre-order, there is everything from today's show. So you've got scissors, you've got um, crochet hooks, you've got, now, you're most, you're most probably saying, there's no pattern. There's no pattern. Well, Anna is here to take us through what today is all about, because it's quite exciting. But let me show you, let's put the graphics in for this, first of all. This is the yarn that we are dealing with for this project, and what a beautiful array of colours. You've got five greys, you've got two corals, and then you've got one bright blue, one green, and one beautiful, I don't know what it's called, but I want to call it mulberry. It's, it's perfect plum. Per perfect plum, it's called. Perfect plum. So for £65, you get all of this. Now, you're most probably thinking, why am I going to... Oh, let me tell you what it is, first of all. It's from the West Yorkshire Spinners, of course. It is 100% British wool. There's 225 metres. It's a 100 gram ball and you need to use four millimetre hook or four millimetre need with it. It's from Colour Lab. It's reared, sheared and spun in Britain and it's from the West Yorkshire Spinners. And what can you say? From the Colour Lab collection. So that's where you get these exquisite colours from. Right, so you're thinking, why should I spend £65 and I've got no pattern? This is why. First of all, hello gorgeous. Hello. <laughs> Are you going to sing a song for yes, us? Yes, <laughs> I do need to dance. <laughs> and a dance. Oh, she's got her clogs on and everything. She's going to do a, far, a farmyard dance in a minute. Because she's Little Mushka. I am Little Mushka. Little Mushka. That, now, just to so explain, that was what your granddad used to call you. Yes, And it's my an affectionate nickname. term, isn't it? In, yes. In what for language? In Polish. In Polish, in Polish, in Polish yeah. Right? And that's the name of your company as well, isn't it? Yes. Mushka. Yeah. So that's, that's first of all. So this is Anna. And I can never say, pe ladies have sent me... Because I would say, oh, and I nick a <laughs> And they sent me the phonetic of how to say your right. name. Right. Just say your last name for me. Niki Pirovic. Niki Pirovic. Pirovic. Yeah, Niki, Niki Pirovic. Pirovic. Yeah, it's a tongue twister. It's, it's it not an easy it one, yeah. Does it have a meaning? Or what would be no, the in, so. English equivalent, like Smith? I have no idea. No, <laughs> no, actually, no. Is it quite Even, rare? It's very rare, actually. Oh. Even in Poland, it's incredibly rare. Oh. So do, usually the people who are in Poland are with the surname, they're usually somehow related to me. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I know. It's oh, very rare. Very nice. So it's very anyway, anyway, welcome back. I haven't seen you for ages. Thank you so it's much. It's lovely to see you too. Now, tell us what this is and how, what, we do, what basically we're right. doing. This is a crochet along. Right. So it's called Folk Tales. Just watch your microphone. Could you, you're oh, sorry, I'm covering up. myself. Yeah, oh, I'm sure <laughs> I'm covering myself. It's called Folk Tales, and it's done, it's a collaboration between me and the wonderful West Yorkshire Spinners. Okay. And it's a crochet along. Right. So this is the first crochet along that we have in on Yanlane, which uh -huh. is very exciting. Yes. And what it basically means that each week a new square comes out. Right. So the crochet is the, along is over five weeks, and four squares and on the final week we will get the making up instruction which means how to join and how to do your edging okay now this is where it's really important because the pattern is free right yeah, absolutely. so we're not charging there's no you're no not charging char anything it's designed by anna yes, and i'll show you how to get there in a minute i'll show you to, but i want to look at the blanket first because i think it's gorgeous yeah. so now tell me the names of the different of the different um, squares that you've okay got on there, then. so you've got You've got the first week square, which is already, already available there. to yeah. download from West Yorkshire Spinners Lack mm -hmm. website, is the bubble square. Right, okay. So if I show you like yeah. that. Okay. Oh, no, actually. No, I keep it flat on the table. I put it down. Put it down. So this colors, is the bubble it, yeah. square. So you've got different colours of the bubble square. It's a beautiful square. It really is lovely. It's kind of, it's in in its simplicity, it's, it's kind of, it has a big impact. Yeah. It looks really simple, but it does have an amazing impact because those bubbles are made with puffs still laxated and they create this beautiful textures. It's really lovely. Go. Perfect. So this one is called Bride Bubbles. Okay, so what's the whole project called? Folk? 
folk tales. Folk tales, right? So, so the first one, now, if you go, oh, we'll show you how to do this in a minute. We'll show you in a second, right? Yeah. If you go to the West Yorkshire Spinners website right now, you can download completely free the pattern for the bobbles block. The bright bobbles, yeah. yeah so, the, so the square, the square for the bright bobble is now available. Yes, and then yeah. on Monday, yes, on the West Yorkshire Spinners, the second block will come up, which is called trebles at the front. Okay, well, trouble. Trebles and twists. It's trebles oh, treble. And I thought you said trouble at the front. Trouble at the front. <laughs> it's trebles and twists. That sounds more like um, you. Okay, so what's that one then? It's this one here. Okay. So this one is made with this beautiful treble. So that's UK trebles, US double crochets. Yeah. And they are they are placed at the front of our, our chain, which creates this wonderful texture. And it's done in two colours. So you work one collar per two rows. Right. And if you spread it out, you can see those gorgeous collar in between, like peeking through. Oh, it's yes. very beautiful. It's very again, again, it's it's the simple things, you know, okay. but they make such an impact. Mm -hmm. And I think it's beautiful. So okay. again, you have to make it in few colours, because obviously it's a crochet along. Yeah. So then you eventually will make your will make is, your yeah. gorgeous square. So you see this this one is the perfect, perfect plum, plum and silver grey. You also have there you go. You've got the electric blue. Oh, wow. That's nice. That's nice, isn't it? And then you've got the coral crush and the silver Perfect. gray. So that's week two. Then week so that's three week two. is... Week three... Sorry, I'm throwing this second. No, no, no. It's actually... It's scripts and spikes. Right. So spikes because it's spike crochet. So it's this square here. You see? You create no, I've not those heard of spike crochet. Yes, it's beautiful. It creates... It's just basically a double crochet or US single cro like, cro like crochet. But that, but that is done few rows below. So you pull it. So it creates this wonderful oh, kind of almost wow. waves. So again, it's beautiful. It's, it's such a... It's almost simple technique, but it's such a it's su it's such visually impact. It, it gives you a beautiful visual impact. It's really go gorgeous. Is so it's this lovely. one here. And then the fourth one. It's wonderful mosaic square, and I love mosaic. It's mosaic crochet. It's a technique which creates those kind of wonderful. If you look at here, this is a mosaic square. Oh no! Nice. See, it creates this kind of well. A mosaic-like effect. Yes, yes. It's like yes. woven. It almost is it woven. It is, yes. Isn't it? Yeah. So this one is, yes. Yeah. So, so this one is the trickiest one. Right. But in the pattern, you've got written instruction. Apart from the mosaic crochet, mosaic crochet is charted purely because you can't do the chart otherwise. Okay. But we're going to go just, through all four. Oh yeah, we're going to go through all yeah. blocks today, so you'll be yes. fine. But then, you'll so I'm going to say, fine. so the last Monday, bobbles came up. Then next Monday, the next one's coming up. So for four weeks, you get four different packs, yes. completely for free. Completely And you for just free. download them from the website. Then the fifth week yes. is how, joining them together. And how to join off. each square and how to do your border. And again, it's all completely free. Absolutely. And so this is enough wool you to buy make the wool you make blanket. the whole of that blanket yes. there. Yes. That's fantastic. It's a gorgeous blanket, isn't it? I'm very proud, proud, proud I'm of it. I'm sure actually. you are. I am. I love it. I, it's kind of like because um, the coral crush, the electric blue, the green, and the, and the perfect plum, these are brand new colours from West Yorkshire oh, colours wow. to add to the colour like color lab called, range. They call this one bottle green. Bottle green, bottle yes. Green, yeah. So they are the brand new colors. So we wanted to use the bright new colors and they bright and lovely. And it's just like, and obviously silver gray, it's all time favorite. Oh everybody yeah, of course loves it is. It. Of course everybody it is. loves a gray of and I love a gray. So I think like to combine all the colors, the gray just kind of finishes it off really nicely. Okay, so what we're saying to you today is buy the wool, buy the wool, and then you can then go, well, I'm gonna show you where you can go to get the pattern now. This is the important thing, because the patterns are completely and utterly for free, and it's a, a, a collaboration between Anna and, and the West Yorkshire, Yorkshire Spinners. Spinners. So here we go. So go to the West Yorkshire Spinners website. That's what it looks like. There's Colour Lab, which is what these these uh, wools are. Yeah. Right, then you go down on patterns, patterns to yeah. CALs. So that's crochet, crochet alongs, alongs. Yeah. Then you go right down to the bottom, right hand side, click on there, Right, so there you go. Now, it'll say, keep going. Oh, where's that? It's, there oh, there we go. go. There, there we go. So, so you've got part so one. So you see, Bright Bobbles is all ready to go. So you can get the Bright Bobbles pattern completely and utterly for free now. And then 11 a.m. on Monday, you'll get the next one. 11 a.m. the following Monday, you'll get the next one. 11 a.m. you'll get the next one. And then the following one, 11 a.m., the actual how to make the whole thing up. 
And then th that's the bundle. That's what it says you need. That's the bundle we've done for you here. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's beautiful yarn. It really yeah. is a lovely yarn. Now, what we want to say is this is good for a beginner, isn't it? Uh, yes. It's, it's kind of adventurous beginner. Adventurous beginner. So if you just started your crochet journey, you made a few kind of things and you want to expand your, your knowledge into different techniques, this is the perfect thing for you. Obviously, as I said, the mosaic crochet one is a little bit, bit advanced, but again, who doesn't love a challenge, really, honestly? But also, also if, you, if, you, if you think, I really, really can't do that one yet, you could always repeat one absolutely. of the others. Absolutely, of course you, you could. You could do one of the bobbles it's again and just mix absolutely. and Absolutely, it. it's your crochet along. Yeah. So it's you are in charge, charge of it. So whatever square, how you want to put them. I just gave you instruction what I have done, but the way you put them all together, how you, how, how you lay them out is your choice. At the end of the day, is your blanket. Yeah, of course. And also, you have not only the pattern, you have the chart and you also have a video. So there's video instruction on how to make each single square. And and they'll be, they'll be to, this will be on YouTube as well, watching you yes. do them all yes. again now. So, so and is it you on the videos on there? It then? is me, yes. I have made all of them. Oh, made um, do you wear five different outfits? No. <laughs> I did it only one day. <laughs> <laughs> just wore one dress for all oh. of the things. I know, I did the one thing, just one day. But I did it all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you buy the bundle from us today, get the patterns for free from the West Yorkshire Spinners, Shall we start then with bright bobbles? Yes. Now, so, obviously, yours, yours is downloaded. You'll print yours up at, at your end, your own. We don't yes. send out the patterns to you. Right, so bright bobbles. I've got one that I have prepared earlier. Oh, good. Yes. So this is the little bright, bright bobble. This, this is in the coral crush. Sorry, I do excuse the hair. I have hair everywhere. I have cats. I have hair everywhere. So if I show <laughs> you the pattern first. So in a pattern, this is your pattern. Uh -huh. When you download download your pattern, you will get. Do you want to put it flat on the table and Paul yeah? will take it from. Uh, you get a little. Turn it to face you. Turn the. the piece oh, yeah. Face Sorry. Face you. No, no, don't apologize. Don't apologize. Right. There we go. Paul will get, there you go. There's Paul's got it from So on your, second, um, on your second page, you get little. These are the links to the videos. Right. So you will just. So you've got a little introduction uh, from me about the inspiration for the blanket and what the name means and what yarn I use and stuff like and stuff like that. And then you got the bright, the bright bubble. So you click on this. So on your PDF, you'll be able to click on it. It will take you straight away to West Yorkshire Spinners YouTube channel right. and you can watch the video. Okay, perfect. Also, I want to show you. So you obviously get your abbreviation in everything. You've got all your notes for every single square. You get written instructions and you've got a chart. So whichever level you are, you can always follow. And as I said, you, you've got video in case you get stuck. But what I want to show you today is how to make the actual bubble. So let me, I've got okay, my- I just want to say two things. First of all, just because they come out every week, please don't feel pressurized that you need to do oh, it no, every week. Of course make not. sure you download the pattern. Yes. I mean, it'll stay there. That, it that, will stay there forever. Stay there so, forever yes. sort of thing. so don't worry about that. Also, what we'd love you to do is as you make each square, We'd love you to put it on the Yarn Lane fans please, page. Please, Just put a picture of your square and everything. Because obviously this week, well, you're going to be doing a grey one, a blue one, a coral one, a green one, and a perfect plum one, aren't you? Yes. So the perfect bubble is the most amount of squares. Okay. Yeah, so this is the one that you will make most amount of squares. But again, as with every crochet along, do not feel pressure that I need to make it all in one, like, like one week. Yeah. No one is no, pressuring that's what we're saying. This. We don't want this to be any It's going over a few weeks. You've got plenty of time. Yeah. It's supposed to be enjoyable. You're supposed to enjoy it. It's a crochet journey. And I want you to enjoy it as much as I have enjoyed design, de designing like this blanket and making it as well. So, yes. Yes. Do it in your own time. Perfect. Right. Right. So, so what size hook do we need? Sorry, was it a four? Four and a half. Oh, four and a half. Four and so a half. So four and a half. The reason I used four and a half, let me just explain, because yeah. yes, the yarn is double knitting. So usually it will call for a four millimeter hook. The reason I used four, four, like four and a half, because I want a bit of drape to your blanket. So you obviously don't want your blanket to be really tight. So you want it to drape nicely. So this four and a half hook will give you a nice drape, a nice kind of looseness to your stitches. Perfect. So that's the reason, yes. We've got, we've got the clove one today, but if you go to the website, we've got all different makes of the size four and a half, or all different makes of all different sizes. That's just got a different handle to a lot. Yes. 
you've got so many hooks and some of them. I, I mean, your, oh, your yeah, set I knew here, it's gorgeous. Let me just I love quickly, your set. So this, I'm in love with it. It's gorgeous. This is just gorgeous, isn't it? If you want all the different sizes, it goes from a two to a six, is it? Yeah, two to a six, all in there for twenty six ninety nine. Isn't it beautiful? And you get the case. And when Vix did this, kept talking about how lovely the ring pull is. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? It's but a nice ring pull. It's a gorgeous ring pull. Yes, it is. <laughs> right, okay, let's get on with some crocheting then. So, your square, I've done a few rows already here, if you if you can if you can see. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. sure you can see this. So I've done a few rows already. You see, those little bubbles stand out so beautifully. Mm. But I'm now ready. I'm gonna show you how, how to make them. So basically the bubble is called a puff stitch, and it's literally five half trebles together or half treble five two lag two lag together so what i'm going to show you how to do it now so when you work it you will work into the top of the stitch in the second row so this is your first row so this is the first row below the current row and this is your second row so what you do you go yarn around the hook insert your hook into this stitch into the top of the stitch two rows below so you'll be this one here grab your yarn and pull it through now pull out the thread a bit out so it's kind of on the same height as your current current row because you because you don't want it to be too tight so give it so give it a bit of space then go yarn around the hook again into the same stitch grab your yarn and pull it through and again pull it out a bit to give it a bit more room and do this three times all together uh, well, five times all, all together, uh -huh. but three more times. Three, four, see, so we're getting all those lovely loops on our hook, and five. So I think you should have 11 loops on your hook. Oh. Let's have a look. Yes, 11. Okay, so now make sure you give it a bit of a shake to loosen it up. And now what we're going to do is go yarn around the hook and pull it through all those loops on our hook. All of them? All of them. So gently, 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 uh -huh. we pull it through all 11. Right. Then we go yarn around the hook and pull it through our loop. So that's chain to lock our puff in place. Uh -huh. See, so that locks our puff in place and that's our puff finished. Uh -huh. Now we're going to work five double crochets so this is our next stitch. So we have enclosed one stitch into a puff. Yeah. And now we're going so into So all the next 11 stitch. of those are all on one, basically one stitch, are they? Yes. All of those 11 that you yes. pulled through, yeah. So we go one double crochet into next five. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. And now we are ready again for our next puff. You see, so we've got five stitches in between each uh -huh. puff. So again, yarn around the hook. We're going to insert a hook into the sec in into the stitch two rows below. Uh -huh. Insert your hook there, grab your yarn and pull it through. And four more times. Yarn around the hook, uh -huh. in, and pull it through. Two three and each time you do it give it a bit of a shake to pull out the yarn so it's not too tight on your hook mm -hmm. four and five so again we've got 11, 11 loops and now what we're going to do you go yarn around the hook uh -huh. and, and pull it through it all. all those now, 11 loops. Now is it difficult loops. to pull it through those 11? No. Is there anything we need to watch when we're pulling through the 11? You might want to wiggle it around a little bit. It depends, as I said, if you make them a bit looser, so you so, so don't pull them tight. So every time you do yarn around the hook and pull it in and pull it through, give it a bit of a shake to yeah, loosen it up. Yeah, because if it's too tight, you'd have real trouble pulling Absolutely. the hook back the way through. Sometimes you might find it useful. So when you're pulling it through, to wiggle it around a little bit, so yeah. making sure that it kind of goes through all those loops. Perfect. But, but do it gently. Don't yeah. rush with it or don't tug on it. Mm -hmm. So if it's tugging, undo it and do it again. Okay. The wonderful thing about crochet is, is you can undo and redo very, very quickly. Yeah. So it's better to do this than actually try to tug at the yarn and anything, yeah. anything like that. Then you knot it off. No, not knot it off. Then you chain. Then we're going to chain yeah. one to lock. Yeah, lock, that's it. And what I want to show you again, so then we're going to go finish off our row with three. What I want to show you on the next row, we're going to work just double crochets. So we're going to turn, 
chain one. So on this row, we're going to just work double crochet into every single stitch and puff all the way to end. Oh, because you, you're just doing a plain, you're just yes. doing a plain line now, aren't Absolutely. you? Absolutely. So it's set on a background of planes of double crochets. So you want the double, because this way it stands out a lot more. Yeah. So what we go, what we're going to do into a puff, I'm going to go to our puff and I'm going to show you something. Because on our puff, when we work into our puff, we will work into the chain one that we have used to lock our puff. Right. So you see, if you look on top of our puff, yeah. you've got two like Vs, you see? So you've got two like stitches like here. Uh -huh. What we're doing, we work it into the chain one, which is this one here. Right. So this is what we will go into. The reason is, and we do a double crochet, then we're going to miss this second stitch of our puff and uh -huh. work into the next one. Because if we if we work into the st stitch of our puff, we will increase and we don't want to do that. The reason we are working into the chain one of our puff is because it makes our puff stand up straight. Right. So if we were to go into the second stitch, it will kind of slant our puff a bit, but we want it to stand up straighter. So by going into the chain of our puff, it makes it a bit more, it stands up straight, mm -hmm. basically. What does it look like on the other side? It looks very good as well. It looks almost identical on both sides. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, so it does. it does. The reason how you can tell that you are on the right side on the wrong side is to look on your, on your beginning tail. Right. You see the beginning tail you, you have used to start up your work. So if it's to your left, it means you are on the right side. If it's to uh, your right, it means you are on the wrong side. That's and also, tip. yeah, and also the bottom edge curls up towards you if it's on the right side. Right. If it's on the right side, you see, it curls away from you. Right. So that's how you. And was it easy? Is it easy to start the whole? Is yes. it Just chain on. Is it? I you chain. do twenty six chains. Yeah. You will on the first row. You will work into the second chain, uh, second chain from hook, and work one double crochet into every single chain. So that's twenty five stitches, and you continue to work. So it's very easy. Brilliant. It couldn't be simpler. How long have you worked with uh, West Yorkshire Spinners then? How long have you For a while with? now. I, I love West Yorkshire Spinners. I think they are an incredible brand. They are very ethical and they produce good quality yarn. It's kind of like, um, and also it's, it's done in the same place. So it's, there's no travel cost. There's, there's no, you know, the sheep are kind they're of have in the field. The inner field yeah. and they read shit and everything is funny in this country. There. So it's got and no carbon footprint at all. No, really. that that that's the word I was looking yeah. for. No carbon footprint. Yeah. And also the sheep have a wonderful life. They go in the field, they roam around, they get shit in spring because you know it's too it gets too warm and they need and they need to be shit. Yeah. So they don't overheat basically. And yes, and, and then we have, have beautiful babies. young. Uh, oh did you see I was I, we were driving it through and there were babies everywhere. I, I've got a field behind oh. my house and normally they put the mums and the babies in that field. Yeah. I haven't been there and then I got home either yesterday or the day before and the field's full oh. of all the mums and the tiny, tiny little babies like They this. are just adorable. We were driving through it's like, oh, hey, baby, stop, stop, we just <laughs> baby, stop. It's just so precious, oh. honestly, so beautiful. Really, really lovely. So yeah, so workshop shipping, they're just really lovely. lovely so, so not only we've got a brilliant company like that, we've also got the brilliant Anna here, you know, the Thanks. designer of, uh, to be, well, no, no, but if you think about it, normally, if you had something like this, we'd be like, oh, this is designed by Anna, we're going to show you how to make mm -hmm. it. We've actually got Anna here who's designed it and working, so it's brilliant, and considering such, we're not even six months old yet, Yarn Lane, you know what I mean? I know. And people like Anna are coming and as a but regular. But you are amazing, like you have done an amazing thing. Thank you, it's Rebecca E, not me, nothing to do with me. It's just an amazing thing, because to be honest, to be fair, there's not really a, a, a TV channel that they like dedicated only to no, yarn, no, so it is extraordinary. No, exactly, it's fantastic, it's and you, you love it, you're absolutely loving it as well. Okay, so that's Bright Bobbles. What that's time Bright is it? Oh, Bobbles. Oh, Lorraine wants to know where we get the pattern from. Lorraine, this is where you get the pattern from. You go to West Yorkshire Spinners, right, there it is. You click on Patterns, you click on C-A-L-S, and then you go down the page. It's completely for free, there at the bottom right-hand corner. That's the pattern, then keep going down, Keep going down, keep going down. There you go. You can download each block each week. So the first one, Bright Bobbles, that we just showed you is already there. Oh, oh no, don't download it, Kat. <laughs> oh, wait, I don't know what she's done now. She's not meant to do that. But basically, so on Monday at 11 o'clock, the next one will, cut, will be downloaded, which is the one we're about to show you now. 
trebles. Twist and trebles. Twist so and treble. This is a one. Oh, sorry, I've tried to take out the yarn from inside. I need to add it and come down. Oh. So no. I should have been prepared a lot better. Yeah, exactly. Oh, God, if I'd been in the car all this time, you could have been doing that. <laughs> I was busy looking at the sheep out yeah. the window, <laughs> flirting with the husband, looking at the sheep. <laughs> Didn't have time to do any crochet. I'm just going to cut this quickly. I shouldn't really. because Oh, they're not scissors. They're not scissors. Oh, what is this? They are what they use to do when you, oh. you stuff animals with them, but also surgeons <gasps> use them to when they're doing an operation to stop the blood in a, in a vein and things like that. Are you all right? Just find some scissors. Good. Right. I found it. Okay. It, we all right. Okay. Right, so I've started a little bit. So, so point out on the blanket which one this one is. Trebles at the front is this one. Oh, here. yeah, yeah, perfect. So I prepared, a, I, prepared, I prepared a swatch. Oh, excellent. I've got a swatch that I prepared. There we go. Lovely. So this is the trebles at the front. So again, this is set on the background of double crochets. Uh -huh. And our little kind of front stitches are trebles. Right. Which in US is double crochets. Yeah. So when we start our work, again, we will start it again with 26 chains, then we will work into the second chain from hook and then one double crochet into all the chains to end. Mm -hmm. Then we do chain one and work one double crochet into every single stitch. So that will give us two rows of double crochet and 25 stitches all together. Okay. So then what we do on the following one, what we will start to create is chain spaces. Right. So if I, they're very small, so I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Oh, yeah, so you've yeah, got little go. chain spaces. So they are easily done. I'm midway row here, so I'm going to show you what to do. Oopsie daisy. So we've got chain one, and we work one double crochet into the next stitch. Uh -huh. So on the first ones, because I want to show, show you the trebles, up, so I prepared this sword. On the first one, you will do one double crochet, chain one, miss the next stitch, and one double crochet into the following stitch. Right. But on the following one, on the following row, um, you do one double crochet, chain one, miss the chain one space, and one double crochet two into the next one. So like I'm doing now. So chain one, miss this chain space here, and one double crochet into, into the next stitch. Sorry, I've got a hole in my face. Sorry. Chain one, again, miss this chain space, and one double crochet into the next stitch. And then we... So one more, so chain one, miss this chain space, and one double crochet into the last one. Mm -hmm. So now we have to change color, because on the next two row we will work with, with our contrast, which is oh, the gray okay. one. But how we change color, which is the neatest way, really. How do you change color? How do you do that? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to reach the last stage of our double crochet, so, okay. uh, so the last stitch on our row. Yeah. And then we're going to grab our gray, Right. Place it on our hook. Right. And finish off this stitch with the new collar. Oh, okay. So you're pulling through the... Okay. To both loops. Okay. So then what we can do, we're going to turn our work. Yeah. Are you still attached to the blue? I'm still attached. I want the blue because I will need, need it on the next, on the, on the following Okay, row. so you don't cut so it off. So you don't cut it <coughs> okay, On fine. this one, you carry the yarns with you, with you all the way along. You can cut if you wish, but it's just going to give you some, so many ends to oh, weave okay. in. It's just not worth it. Mm -hmm. Just carry it all with you. Right. So now we are ready for those wonderful little kind of trebles that are staying at the front of yeah. our work. So we're going to work chain one because obviously this is the correct height of double crochet. Right. We're going to work a double crochet into the first stitch. So just a simple double crochet into the first stitch. Mm -hmm. And then we come to our two rows of chain one spaces. Right. You see, we've got yeah. them here. So what we're going to do, we're going to place a treble into the row below the, the miss stitch from well, three rows below, really. Right. So this is where we go, where, where we are going to place our treble. So to do our treble, we go yarn around the hook. We're going to insert a hook into that miss stitch. And we're going to bring it to the front of our work. So it's standing in front of our chain one spaces. Yeah. Then we're going to go yarn around the hook and pull it through. We have three loops on hook and then finish off the, the treble as normal. So yarn around the hook, pull it through two, and yarn around the hook, pull it through like remaining two. Right. And you see our treble is standing in front of those chain one spaces. Right. Okay. So this is 
the nice effect that we will get. So if we now work the next stitch, so we're gonna work a double crochet, just simple double crochet into the next stitch. Yeah. And again, we come to our two rows of our chain one spaces. Uh -huh. So again, we're gonna go yarn around, around the hook. Through the three we're gonna rows go, down. Yeah, into that stitch yeah. and bring your hook forward so it's placed in front of those chain one spaces because mm -hmm. you want your treble to be worked in front yeah. of those stitches. Yarn around the hook, pull it through, through. the stitch. Three loops on hook, then yarn around the hook, pull it through two, two and yarn around the hook, pull it through, through remaining two. You see? Yeah. Then again, into the next stitch, I'm going to show you one more time. Yeah. And again, yarn around the hook. We come to our chain spaces. Yeah. We go into the stitch that is way, the missed stitch from three rows below. Uh-huh. Turn your hook to face the yeah. front. Bring your the stitch forward. Over. Pull it through that stitch. Yeah. And then finish off your treble as normal. Through, 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 two, through two. And through, through two. One. You see? So all those trebles are standing in front of those chain uh, one spaces. Yes. And if you look at the back, you've got those chain one spaces here. Yeah. This square, it actually looks really nice at the back as well because it creates gorgeous stripes at the back. Oh, yeah, so that's the back. Yeah. And then uh, turn it over. Oh, yeah. yes, they're both nice, aren't they? They are both very, very nice. So it's kind of like the way I created this blanket, I wanted it to look equally good on either side. I was going to say, it is so because yeah. your bobbles are going to look the same yeah. on both so sides. Yeah, so if we look on the, on the other side, you see, the spike stitches, I mean, do... Oh, yeah, bring it to your right a little bit so the camera upstairs can oh, sit. Oh, sorry. That's it. No, no, it's fine. There we go. So you see, so your, so your spikes look almost ide identical, yeah, that's your bobbles look almost identical, yeah. and, then that's and a your stripey trebles one. create stripes, and your mosaic creates stripes as well. Oh, fantastic. So it's so kind it's of look... It's gonna, it doesn't matter which... Because sometimes it's often you see a blanket, and the right side's beautiful, and then you turn it over, and you're like, oh, this is a bit kind of dodgy on the other side. That's <laughs> not at all. It's, yeah, you can use it on bo both yeah. sides. Obviously, it's far more eye-catching because of the mosaic square yeah, course, and the yeah. trebles, but it's... Again, it looks good on both sides. Yeah. So that's your next week's That's square. next week, next Monday, 11 o'clock. That Monday. one will be, um, what do they say? Um, dropped. Be dropped for you to download on Monday at 11. Then the following Monday at 11, you You're can You're going to have your spikes, right? Spikes. Let me just, hold on, I'm going to get there is my little swatch. All your yarns are available here. This is you buy this, that's it. You don't you have to buy, buy any this, more yarn. You don't have after to buy today. anything more. This is it, done. You bought that, and then you pack this completely for free every week. So all you're paying for is this. It's and the that's wonderful yarn. For, for your five weeks or however long it takes you. That's it. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, West Yorkshire spinners wool. It's a gorgeous yarn. It's actually uh, I call it my everyday yarn, actually. Because it's for you can use it for everything. For blankets, for clothes, for anything, really. It's an everyday yarn. Also, it's it's got this wonderful how could I, it's soft but it's got this earthiness around yes, it it's, yeah, it's totally. really it's got earthiness about it and it also softens when you wash it so once okay. you wash it it will soft soften a lot not that i like i like the coarse uh, it's not coarse i can't say it's coarse no. it's earthy yeah it's very good yarn it's it's good and, breed and, yarn. and brand new colors Brand new colours. Brand new colours. Now, when you wash it, do you then have to re-block it? Or can you just wash it and then dry it on a towel and, or whatever? To be honest, I block usually once. On a shawl, I will block every time you block. But on the blanket, I kind of like, I won't, I won't, bl I won't block it again. Okay. I will okay. just dry it and it will be fine. Yeah. I block them when I finish them. It's square because it's nice. Oh, but yeah, of course, of course, yeah. But then I don't block okay. again. I'm lazy. Yeah. Okay, spikes. Spikes. So these are our spikes. So this is the, the lovely little spike square. Do, 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 do. So you see, it creates this gorgeous little wedge, and they are s very simply achieved. So again, you start your square the same way as all the other squares. Uh huh. So I've done already the base, and I've done my first wave of my spikes. Okay. See, mm -hmm. what I want on this square also, you don't carry. So um, if you look at the square again, so you've got the background of one of one color, and the spikes are only done in in one shade. And you don't carry the yarn for the spikes with you all the way along, purely because there's too, ma too many rows in between. Uh -huh. And you have massive loops on the side. So you don't do that. So you will cut it on every single row. But what you do do in the row, 
you will carry the main collar with you all the way along. Right. So you see, let me just cut this little end here because I don't want it. It will be really irritating. This little tiny end. <laughs> there we go. So when we're creating a spike, you see, for me, my main collar, which is for me the, the green, I carried in between the stitches all the way down with me purely because it will, again, save me on weaving in the ends because I will need it on my next row, which will start here. Right. So then it's just ready there and I can just take it and go. So it's inside, it's inside the yeah. crochet stitches yes. that you're Yes, so you enclose it at the back into your stitches. Right. I will show you how, how to do this now. So I've done one double crochet. So my spike, spike stitches start with one double crochet. So mm -hmm. one double crochet into the next stitch, which is this one here. Now we're going to do a spike stitch, a spike double crochet, going into the top of the stitch two rows below. So you see you've got your one row here, yeah. and the top of your stitch is just here. Okay. So you insert your hook, you grab your yarn, you see, and my yarn stays, and my contrast yarn, or my main yarn even, stays here. So I, I, I enclose it into every single stitch. Grab my yarn and pull it through. I'm going to pull out the stitch so it's in height of my current row. Right. Then go yarn around the hook and pull it through both of those loops on your hook. You see? Uh -huh. So when it loosens up, it's a lot lower than your first stitch. Mm -hmm. So then the next one is again into the top of the stitch, three rows below. So you've got one row below here, two rows, and you've got three rows which is here. So you insert your hook here, grab your yarn and pull it through. Again, pull it out to the height of your current row, uh -huh. yarn around the hook and pull it through both. So it's quite loose that one then, because you've, got, you've got a free, you, you, your yarn is free, isn't it? Yes, because if you were to pull it out really tightly, it will pucker up yes. the background, so it mm. will just kind of pull it tight and you don't want that. And so where's you your green? Where's your green? My green is traveling that? here at the back. Oh, okay, so I see. So you're just, just holding here, it. Just here, I'm just holding it at the back and I enclose it into the stages as they work the stages. It's actually, you, you don't actually even pay attention to it. No, no, you no. You just no. hold it there. Right, just it hold just comes it. With don't you. let it flail around. Oh, no, of it, course, yeah. yeah. Because you you want you want it with, with, with you at the end of the row. So we've done second, third, and now we're going into the fourth. Right. Oh, it's another one. Oh, yeah. Oh, one, yeah. Two, three, and four. So that would be that one here. Okay. So you push it right the way through to the back. Right around, all the way through, and grab your the gray, and then, then make it up it to as the loose right up to where your current stitch Of your is. current row. Right. Grab your yarn, and pull it through both of those loops. Wow. Yeah, and no. then we're going to do one more. So that one is even lower, so that one goes all the way down. And again, insert, grab your yarn, pull it all the way up to the mm -hmm. height of your current row, yarn around the hook and pull it through both. And now this is at a, a high, um, that one is in the wrong place. Sorry, I do apologize. That one. Oh, wrong. you've not made the mistake. Sorry. We get the designer in. We get, oh, my oh, God. I know. One of my Yorkshire spinners going, oh, You just Anna, can't get the stuff. No. You just can't get it. I'm so sorry. Well, what did you do wrong? Tell me what you did wrong. No, I went, uh, the second one, I went too far down. Right. Yeah, so you need they need to be spread out evenly, and that one was too far down. Yeah. There we go. Okay. You now, yeah, it's you easy see? to correct, isn't yes. it? Yes. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. But it's also very easy to correct. Yeah. So if you do make a mistake, you do not worry. It's yeah. simple. Simple yeah. to correct. So now we've got, we went down, and now we're going to go up again. Right. So now we're going back to to this same point. So you see, the, the this one here, we need, we need to create the same thing. So this one is the third one. Mm -hmm. So so three stitches, that three rows down. One, two, three. And that'll be this one here. You sure now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pull it up. You see? So that's yeah. three. Then we're going to go two. This one's actually quite easy, yeah. this one, isn't it? Then we're going to go one row down. Yeah. And we're going to do a double crochet to finish off our repeat. Right. You see? Yeah. And the little wave is created. 
Wow. Sticky now, bitty can bitty. you get your, uh, are those, you see the bits that go down, are they, are they uh, can you get your finger behind those? Are they kind of? Not really, no. Oh, okay. No, no. They know that. You don't want them that loose. No, that's Otherwise, they worried. will keep on yeah, catching. Yeah, well, do you imagine no, your no, cats? No. Your oh. cats on there, they're going to get those straight away, aren't they? Yeah. 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 But no, you can't get your actually thin finger. No, that's you, right. You can get your, like, cr like yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But you wouldn't get be able no. to get your finger. It, they're not gonna catch. It's fine. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. So that's your spike. So you continue that. Oh, let me just uh, tangle, tangle, tangle. There you go. Let me show you that again because I've got one more wave and I want to show you what to do with this green, green. Okay, perfect. Yeah? Perfect. We've only got how many minutes? Did you say we've got left? Oh my goodness, we don't have a lot. No. Oh. Seventeen minutes. So just so just so you know, that's I don't want to rush you. But okay. Go. I'm gonna be very quick, super quick. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. yeah. So. One you row below. Talk any quicker. <laughs> <laughs> so you do one. You just do one more to one, get to the end of the row. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. one row below, two rows below, three rows below, and again, I'm constantly enclosing this green yarn. Mm -hmm. Four rows below. Again, pull it up so it's not pulling your work. Then again, three rows. Oh, I went really, really, really like a like high pitch there. Three rows, <laughs> three rows, then two <laughs> rows, then one row, and then we come. Oh, look, look, I'm telling you, and I stopped enclosing the yarn. <gasps> oh, my goodness! No. I am terrible. What did they, I never think about this, she says. <laughs> Hold on, all right, all right. Three, two, one, and we've got a double crochet. Now, yeah. on the double crochet, I want us to change color. So what right. we're going to do, we're going to work a double crochet again to when we've got two loops on our hook. So yeah. we stop when we've got two loops on our hook. Yeah. We will drop our gray. But don't cut it. No, you will cut the gray. Oh, you on will this cut this one. You will, cut, you the will gray. cut this one. You're going to grab your green, finish off your last stitch with the green. Yeah. Turn your work chain one and what i want you to do also just to save you on weaving in too many yarns when you cut the gray give yourself a bit of an an end to your tail because you can you will have to like weave it in obviously yeah. but not too much let me just get that out of the way and when we work in on our wrong side so we're working on the wrong side we're working in double crochet what i want us to do to enclose this gr this gray yarn in those stitches so that way, you won't have too many ends to weave in. Oh, see? I see. Yes. So now you grab yeah. it, and you go. So is this row, this row is just all the same, is it? It's all yes. double crochet. Yes. It's every every single square. It's double crochet with ver with with variation yes, of stitches, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is it's actually really nice because you don't have to, you know, you can just watch TV and make yeah. and make them. They're very enjoyable. Yeah. Yes. So I wanted this. The thing is, though, the the whole idea of folk tales. Is to kind of um, the name comes from traditional, like crochet and handicrafts. You remember? I don't know if you, if if you if you remember or if you know. Like in usually like villages and towns, women used to gather and craft together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. make things and used to tell stories to each other. This is the whole idea. During the year that we had, I wanted to make something that we can make together. So either if you do it in person or if you do it over Zoom, you can you can make it square and give this each square its own story. But also, now the weather's changing and we can sit in people's gardens, you can still yes. have your group of ladies or gentlemen Absolutely. doing crochet in the garden with your cup of tea of or your glass of champagne or whatever. And as I said, I wanted each square to give you your personal story. So you can give your square your personal tale, your personal story, and that way, your blanket can be cherished and passed down exactly. as all the other mm. elements were okay so this is as i said but i've chosen modern modern kind of stitches and modern uh, colors because to symbolize the what well, we're creating we're, right now. we're creating the stories like we exactly. look back to the stories of folk and we're now you're now creating stories now that people in the future because that blanket will go generation 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 exactly oh my granny anna annie made this for me you know what i mean and all that sort of thing right should we move on to the next square we got another square to go yes to. yes yes so the next square the last square is mosaic yeah now mosaic square let me tell you a little bit about mosaic square mosaic square is the first that's the one 
Again, you've got videos for all of this, so do not worry. Yeah, just enjoy I this. I have not yeah. just enjoyed this. I have not, you know, I have provided you with every single thing. Me and West West York West, West York experience have covered everything, trust yeah. me. So mosaic square is worked from, from chart. So apart from the first two rows and the round 33, which is the edging round, everything is charted. So it's again on the video, I explain everything very, very, very in detail. You also have an explanation here of how to work your mosaic crochet. Um, I'm now on row 29. So in mosaic crochet, each row is numbered twice. So you work each row twice. So right side row, I work from left, from right to left. Left, wrong side rows, I work from left to right. So I am now on round 29 in my gray. The reason I know it's gray is because it's the light color. Right. So, when it's light square on dark square, it means I have to work a double crochet. So I'm going to work chain one, I've got, I've got, I've got chain one already, and I'm going to work one double crochet, I'm using gray. You use also one collar per two rows. So you, so you just carry the additional collar along the side with you, you can see here. Yeah. You can see <coughs> here, you carry it along with you. So you work one double crochet into the first stitch. Now, if you look at a, a, char a chart again, you've got dark square on dark square. Right. So in mosaic crochet, it, mean, it means that you have to chain two and skip the next stitch. Our next square, it's light square on dark square, which means you're gonna have to work a double crochet into the next stitch. Right. So we're going to chain two, miss the next stitch, and make double crochet into, into the following stitch. So, chain two, miss this stitch, and work a double crochet into the following stitch. Right. And if we look at the char char chart again, so we're here again, so we're now on dark square on dark square. Mm -hmm. So we're going to chain two again and miss the next stitch. And then the next two stitches are light square on dark square, right. which means we're going to work one double crochet into the next two stitches. So we're going to chain two, miss the next stitch, and work one double crochet into the next two stitches. You see, our chart is a perfect representation of our work. So if you look at my chart, you've got a pattern repeat here, which is repeated twice through, like throughout the square. Right. But you see, this <coughs> is here, this is here. So everything is exactly as it's charted. You see, it's a perfect re re representation of our square. Yeah. So if you look <coughs> at your at the row that we are doing now, we've got double crochet here, we've got a double crochet here. Uh -huh. We've got chain one space here, chain one pair here. Double crochet, yes. Chain space, yes. Two double crochet, yes we do. Right. So now again, dark square on dark square means chain two, miss this stitch, and one double crochet into the following stitch because it's light square on dark square, and I wanna show you what to do here. Okay. So let's just do chain two, miss next stitch, one double crochet into the following stitch. And now if you look at the following one, again, it's a dark square on dark square, which means we're going to chain two and miss the next one. And then we come to all those light squares. Mm -hmm. So all those light squares means that we have, we're, ma we're making trebles on our, ne on, on, on our rows below. Right. So you see? So we're going to chain two, miss this stitch, so it's this one here, and now we come to our chain spaces and stitches from row below. So what we need to do is fill them up with trebles. So yarn around the hook, and again trebles, as with the treble square, we're gonna place those trebles in front of those chain spaces. Right. So insert your hook into the stitch, in the same collar yarn, two, three rows below, bring it to the front and work your treble as normal. 
Repeat exactly the same thing in the next stitch. Oh, so it's covering up the blue. Yes, blue. it's You're covering. Not, I thought you'd have to start changing colors. No. You're just covering up the blue We're one. covering up. So we're placing those trebles in front of those chains. Yes. So this is how our mosaic, how the effect of mosaic is created. You see? So this is our repeat. Oh, uh, I thought you were going to have to go do four stitches, change the blue, do three stitches, change the gray. No, it's the um, wonderful thing about mosaic that you work one collar per two rows. Yes, so you yes. don't have to carry the collar with no. you and have all this fuss. It's actually incredibly easy. It's just, I think, to start it is a bit like, ooh, what? But it is actually incredibly yeah. easy. So don't be afraid of mosaic crochet. It really is so re, re, la, like rewarding. Obviously, there's a video. I created a video, so you don't have to worry that you're not going to remember. Somebody just asked, how do they find the videos? The video. So, so, when, you, so when you download, say, like this week, so, so yeah. bright bobbins. So on your second page, yeah. you've got all those little bits here. So, so when you go to the website, they'll come up on your download and you click on those. You yeah, know, so this will be in your PDF like download. And each one of those is a link. So all you have to do is click on it and it will take you straight to the um. appropriate view like video on West Yorkshire Spinners yeah. like YouTube like, cha like channel. However, if you don't want to do that, then all you have to do is go to West Yorkshire Spinners YouTube channel and they will be all there. Okay. Now, does the video come up only when that download is... So, so the Bob Bright Bobbles will be there mm -hmm. now, video. Yeah. But the bit video for the next one won't be up till they're Monday. They're all there already. Oh, they're there they're already. They're all there already. <laughs> they're all there already. So you can go and watch all of them and prepare so yourself you're an for your following. So crocheter... You yeah. don't really have to wait yeah. for next Monday because you, no, you can just start. Do it yourself. Yeah, you can just start on the next one. Get your yarn today. When it arrives at home, you can start whenever you fancy. And trust me, the yarn is so worth it. It's a stunning oh, yarn. And you know what? It's quality yarn, which means it will last you for years and years and years to come. Yeah, and £65 for all this. You get the pale grey, the blue, you get a five pale grey, two coral, one perfect plum, one bottle green, and one. What was the blue one again? Electric. Electric, electric blue. blue. Electric, electric blue. blue. Right, very quickly then, Go what on. about the join them together? Right. How many minutes have we got for? Okay, so we've got four minutes, so let's go for this. Four minutes. I wanted to show you, actually, I'm not going to have time. Actually, I'm uh, joining together all this. Ooh. No, no, no. Okay. no if, if, it's, if you're not ready for it, we can just talk it through. No, we can. We, we can. I've got squares here. Yeah. I just wanted to, sh to quickly... Ch well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Each square, it has an edging around it, purely because it's easier to join it to other squares. So it's called ra round... 33 and it's written out in every single pattern. Oh, so once you've done your square, square you then you do, do this, around you go all the way 33. Around. So you do it all the way around. Yeah. And you work into the raw end edges of your squares. I just want to show you yeah, very course, quickly course, how course, to course. do this. So you go on the top into every single stage just quickly. I'm not gonna go all the way along because I want to show you how yeah. how to join. You do chain two because it's a corner. So you do change uh -huh. chains two on each corner. And you see you're gonna go into the side of your stitches so you saw so the raw ends of your stitches so you're gonna go i usually do it three double crochet per four rows so one row two rows three miss this one and then do another three rows one another three like three like double crochet yeah. one two and three, so you're working into the raw ends of your stitches. So into the side, side, side of your stitches, mm -hmm. if you like. Miss this one, and again, one, two, and three. Miss this one and, and go all the way along. Uh -huh. So that way it gives you a nice edging and it will be the same number of stitches on every single so that side. That means every square will be exactly the same. Exactly the, the same. Yeah. When you join, for joining, I have used a flat slip stitch join right. because I love it. It's my favorite. It's, it's perfectly flat and it looks so good. And it looks amazing on both sides, yeah. as you can see. It's what you it's want, just, isn't it? Yes, it's beautiful and flat slip stitch. So what you do, again, you grab your, shall we do one on the coral one because I'm going to use gray. That's right. So you grab your two squares. <laughs> As, as I said before, you, you create chain spaces on each single side. So you go into your chain space. Uh -huh. You join your squares by a chain space. Yeah. And this is all on week five, isn't it? This it is, is all in week five, yeah. Finishing off. 
join it with a slip stitch. And just quickly to show you, as I said, there's a video there, but I just want to yeah. quickly no, show you. No, no, that's you. fine. Now, your yarn, your worky yarn needs to be in between your hook, in between your work, you see? So it's here. Oh, okay. So what in you're going to do, here. you're going to work into back loop of every single stitch. Actually, maybe it will be easier if I put it down like, like to show you first. Okay. So you're going to go into back loop of the stitch to your left. Right. To next stitch. Then going over the yarn, you see? The yarn yeah. stays at the back. You go into the back loop of, this, of the next stitch in the square opposite. Mm -hmm. So now you've got three loops on your hook. So now you're gonna go yarn around the hook and pull it through all those loops on your hook. Oh, wow. Yeah, just tighten this one because that one is a bit loose. Let me show you again. So yeah. now we are going back into the Back loop, back loop of the stitch to our left. Mm -hmm. Going over our working yarn and into the back loop of the stitch to our right. And you're doing it stitch by stitch, so every stitch has to be worked. So you've got three loops on hook, yarn around the hook, and pull it through all three. And you continue to do this. I usually find it easier to hold them like this and then go into the back loop stitch of my f square towards me, going over my working yarn into the back loop of the square on the opposite side, and pull it through all three. So I usually find it to work easier this way, ju just holding them parallel to each other. So it really is, a, a, it's like a, a, a crochet project. The first one's that simple, and you get a little bit, not difficult, but more challenging, more challenging, Absolutely. more challenging. I want you to kind of, Grow. Not, uh, of course, you want to grow with your, you want to learn new mm. things. Otherwise, it'll be just the same thing over and over again, exactly. you know, and no exactly. one. I right, mean, I've got to say, we're off. running out of time, but thank you so much. Thank that you. was brilliant. When are you back? When, do you know when you're back? At some point in May. Some point in May. Some point in May. Right, now, very ba basically, what it is, if you've missed the beginning of the show, <clears throat> this is a project that Anna's collaborated with West Yorkshire Spinners. You buy the yarn today from me. And then already on the West Yorkshire Spinners website, there is a free crochet along pattern to make this blanket. So last week, it's already started. Last Monday, it came out and Bobbles came out last Monday. This Monday coming at 11 o'clock, the next one will come out, which is called Trebles and Twists. And then the next Monday, the next one will come out. But also, when you go to your download, you can click on there and there are actual YouTube films of how to do each square. So you no, don't worry that you've missed a show or anything. Buy your wool, 65 pounds, it's really good quality. It's this year's colors and beautiful, and it's designed by Anna, and the design is absolutely free for you from the West Yorkshire Spinners website. All you have to do is buy this and buy a four and a half um, crochet hook. And that's all you need, and then Anna will take you through it, and it's one that will grow with you. They are this year's color, and they are, it is British yarn, reared, yeared, and sheared, or whatever they say, reared, What's the middle word? Sheared, reared, sheared, and and spun. And that's it. That's it. Anyway, so we got to go. We got to go. When's next? When's the next uh, yarn lane? Monday with Rebecca Reed. And do we know what it is? Exquisite four ply launch with Chloe Bird. Right, we got to go. Got to go. Thank you so much. It's lovely Thank to you. see you. I'll see you on Sewing Street tomorrow morning at eight. <laughs>